Meg. Welcome to the Art Matrix. It is Saturday, February 18th. And I officially have my flight and everything set for Romania. And I leave next week, Tuesday. It still doesn't feel real. And I don't know. I just don't know. Like, it just doesn't seem real yet that it's actually happening. So I'm still, I'm still like really nervous. Like, this is real? Like, I'm not going to be in, in the US next week. I'm going to be in a different country next week. Like, is that real? Like, that's really happening? So, last year, I got um, chosen to go to Romania through my school that is doing an exchange program with another school in Romania. So, they have a couple of their students at our campus at the moment. Um, for the semester and they're only sending me for the semester over to Romania so their school semester is very different than mine um, usually we start January like mid-January but for this university um, we start at the end of February which is totally fine with me I don't have to come back until July because I'll be there for four whole months like I am just gonna have four whole months of being in another country making art I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity this is an amazing opportunity I'm like so excited like I can't even comprehend it and yet it doesn't seem real that I'm going. I feel like it won't seem real until I land at my first stop. Because I think I have like maybe two or three stops. It's going to be a long day of flying. But my first stop, I'll be landing in Paris. <laughs> That's so crazy to think. Um, so I'll be landing in Paris, then switch over to another flight, yada, yada, yada. But I think once I land there and like start to hear people speaking in French and another language and yada, 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 I'll feel like, dang, I am in another country. I will be in another country for four months. I'm so excited. Like you have no idea, but I'm going to bring you along this journey. We're going to be learning about animation, video art, all of that good stuff. So it's honestly coming at a great time where I'm starting the YouTube channel. So I'll be able to put whatever I learn into here, my channel. And you guys get to see it. I'll bring you along. We're going to have so many experiences, so many journeys, so many uh, destinations to travel to. I have a lot of stuff planned that I'm excited for for you guys. And I hope you guys are excited too. Like, get ready for that video for, it, it's gonna be like the first week abroad as an art student, yada yada. Anyways, I just finished packing up my clothes. Now I just have to remind myself to bring in my shoes. Um, and then I'll be set to like, go. I would just go. I need to reorganize my carry-on bag though, because I have a shoulder bag that I'm going to keep all of my necessities in there, so it's like quick and easy to grab out.
I know I was packing. Talking about packing. Finished packing. Got to remind myself to bring my car stuff into the car, into the apartment to pack. And then that's it. I have my outfit that I'm gonna wear. I have these hand warmer thingies that they're like a gadget. They're not like a pack where you like break or shake or whatever. It's like a little black little remote looking thing and you just press the button to the temp that you need and boom your hands stay warm when you hold it and I don't worry about it like well I do have to charge it but I haven't been using it because I haven't been eating it so if I need it while I'm flying like it'll be good because it does get cold on the plane sorry we'll see here I am in my flight heading to Paris. Didn't have any other clothes beforehand, but I had a whole mess happen before this. But next you'll see me landed. So first stop, everything looks so cute. My first flight was good. Made it safe. Now heading to my second flight. That's gonna head to Bucharest. So I'll talk to you guys then. Hey, it's Meg. So I didn't have any other clips of my landing in Bucharest because it was very hectic. Um, I had to walk a lot to get through uh, the airport to get to the next security checkpoint. And then from there, it was very, very long. And I was rushing to get to my next flight because it was not enough time in between so after arriving in Bucharest went to security checkpoint got through there and then I landed in or Oradia in um 7 20 current time there so it's like seven hours ahead of Connecticut um and then when I landed there apparently my suitcase didn't arrive with me at the same time and they weren't sure if it was still in Paris or in Bucharest so uh, I had to file a complaint and they'll let me know when my suitcase arrived which eventually it did three days later so that was a hassle but I had made it safely except um, my ears were hurting quite a bit and I was just not used to doing three flights in one day. So, yeah, I don't have any other clips of um, anything else because it took me quite a bit to get adjusted to the time, first of all. Really bad jet lag. I was up all night and I couldn't stay awake through the day, throughout the day. Um, so it took me about a week to get adjusted and then you know traveler's gut where you know you have, you're bloated and whatnot you know, getting adjusted to the food that's here uh, i'm finally currently adjusted and it's march what's today march so march 5th i already had my first week of classes i'm ready for my second week of classes um i'll do another video where i go into detail about student life here and what I've been getting into. So far, great experience. Everyone's so friendly um, and helpful with me uh, since I don't really know too much of the language. Um, the university has been super helpful as well. All the students there are really, really sweet. Um, and you'll see a bit of more of that later in the videos. So I uh, hope you liked this traveling to Romania video. And uh, Hope to see you soon, okay.